What's the most unexpectedly amusing or bizarre dating experience you've had that made you question the universe's sense of humor? I went on a date with a guy who was 10-10, but when we met in front of his building, he walked out barefoot. Mind you, this was in San Francisco and we went for a walk downtown, so he was walking around on the dirty streets without any shoes. When I asked him why he said it's because he wants to connect to the earth, he doesn't like wearing shoes, etc. All that new age bullshit. Then we wanted to go to Whole Foods to get a drink, and the security at the door wouldn't let him in because he was barefoot. It was really bizarre, and I was quite embarrassed. I reconnected with a guy from high school shortly after we graduated and we were all home for Christmas break. He asked me on a date and asked what I would want to do and I said it didn't really matter. He said we could order Chinese food and watch Hoodwink the movie. I showed up at his house and when we went upstairs to his room, he didn't even have a television. I was afraid this was going to be the start of a very badly ending story, but he literally pulled out his phone for us to watch the movie. I guess it was a thought that counted. Pretty recently I matched with a suspiciously gorgeous man on a dating app. We chatted for a few hours and then faced him, so I knew he wasn't a catfish. He seemed to check almost all of my boxes looking for something long-term, once kids, similar politics and values I kept waiting for the other shoe to drop. After we met up for coffee, we texted about what we're both into, and finally he sends me a video of a woman fully shitting into a man's open mouth, asking if I'd be willing to do that with him. I politely declined. Sitting on the quad at college reading a book, a gorgeous woman walks up to me and asks if she can join me. I say sure. She asks about what I am reading, my classes, etc. She smiles and acts super interested the whole time. It is after five minutes I notice she had a small nematic that says Sister Frost. Not even a minute later she asks if I know what Mormons are. What followed was 30 minutes of her trying to convince me to come hang out, which I could tell was a way to get me to come join one of their groups. Every time in my life, When I started a relationship, and it lasted something odd would happen on the first date. Yo, a pawns. Get out of Metro Station and get asked by a lady on a wheelchair to help her to push to a store nearby. End up going for a long walk down Street Catherine Street. Pawns. My ex-wife on our first date I was using crutches as I had a fractured foot. Someone stole my crutches while swimming at the lake. Ow. So kids, when you're going on your first date and something weird or crazy happens, she's a keeper. Oh, wow. I met a girl at a local bar after matching on Tinder. She looked nothing like her photos. She took her fucking shoes off at one point. She legit asked if I would buy her a drink where I'm from. This is seen as rude. Men generally pay at the end, but you should be prepared for him not to. Oh, oh, pawns. Absolute hot mess express. Oh, pawns. After the date, she texted me asking if I was going to pursue her further. I said I wasn't interested, but we could be friends. She got really mean and nasty, then blocked me. I met the one you know when it's kismet, the heavens are shining upon you, everyone says there is magic between the two of you, you feel your soul reconnect, you understand what the writers of old spoke about, you have eyes for no one else only for a witch to curse the two you, he disappears into the night, and you immediately start dating a narcissistic cheater who makes your life a living hell for years afterwards. For my photography class we were given a list of things to take a picture of. One was a silhouette. I was walking around campus knocking things off the list when I saw the silhouette of a man in the window on the third story of a building. I was taking a picture with my telephoto lens when he turned around and I saw it was the guy I had a crush on and had been talking to. I never tried after that. Oh, this one is easy. I went out on a date with this girl I thought was super cute. In the evening we got back to her place and she was giving me the tour. When we got to her living room, she showed me her decomposing rat head. She said she'd found it lying in her apartment and thought it would be cool to watch it decompose over time. It was near skeletal and just sitting on her computer tower. I was set up by a co-worker. He showed up with a filthy car. I remember his hair was greasy and needed a cut. I don't remember where we went for dinner, but I do remember he spent the whole meal talking about the indoor women's volleyball league he was going to create. From scratch. I had no idea if there already was an indoor women's volleyball league. So, puns. There was no second date. I was friendly with the woman who cut my hair. I once mentioned that I found one of the massage therapists at the salon to be very attractive and she offered to set me up, which I accepted. It was very cool, except instead of setting me up with the young good-looking hunky guy, she set me up with the very obese short bald guy. 
I remember thinking, my life is an episode of Friends. Hello. A Jehovah's Witness didn't tell me about Binij until the second date after we smashed. The Bon. She red pilled me on all their cult like policies and sounded like she was rebelling and trying to get out from it. But a fake, she went back to being obedient shortly after I stopped seeing her. I bumped into her in public along with her mom and had to act like I didn't know her, Lama. We were setting up the date. He was planning on cuddling. I was like, okay, then it went totally left field, and he started asking about feet play. I declined and asked to reschedule due to feeling like we might be at different spots, and he went crazy about how I was rejecting him for being a nice guy and why me I blocked him and moved on lol. The last girl I liked and asked out on a date experienced a trauma response. She threw up for days and had panic attacks because I asked her out for ice cream. I get the feeling that most people don't experience rejections like this. Honestly, I'd have preferred if she just laughed, because good lord she made me feel like a fucking terrorist. Sammy broke up with college girlfriend, so went on a date with a different friend in college. She was a night owl, I was and still am decidedly not. Hello, hello, eh, eh, I fell asleep eating salad. Like full on fork halfway to face nodded off, it drifted gently back down to the table, and I snoozed a few minutes. It hello, eh, eh, pawns. There was no second date. We did stay friends, so I live in a rural area. The dating scene is slim pickings. Online dating and some travel is usually the only way to actually meet someone. I get a match after months on a dating app from a woman who was a nun. A lonely but very specifically non-horny one. She just wanted friends, which is understandable, but I wasn't on plenty of friends. My wife, let's call her Murray, died several years ago. I joined Bumble a few years later to explore the idea of rejoining the world. The first person that messaged me was named Murray. The second person that messaged me was named Murray. The third person that messaged me also named Murray. I turned off notifications for a month. Date mail, I want to ask you something, but never mind. You think I'm weird. I ow. Me female now you have to ask me. Ow. Oh. Date can I see your ears? I can't see them under your hair. So I did what any normal person would do and showed him my ears I wasn't even interested in him before he said that there was no second date. Decided to go out on a date with this guy. He picked me up after work, driving a Hummer. Big red flag. So I get in and he says to me, I just got these candies at the corner store and they taste like dust. Do you want some? Oh, oh. I laughed, declined, and we had a great date. I actually ended up marrying the guy. Was goaded by my buddies into asking the waitress out on a date. Hello. Pawns. Hey, I know you your kesks little brother. She was my older sister's old roommate, who knew all my annoying teenage little brother stories. We had a good time telling stories for a while. Needless to say, there was no date. Second or third date with a guy. He told me you have a flat stomach. I noticed these things. Pawns. I was a 22-year-old woman with a decent physique, and this guy genuinely seemed to believe he was an outlier who should be commended for noticing my body and not just my mind. Long ago when internet dating was on Yahoo Chat. Ah, I meet a woman I really didn't want to go on a date with. So I made up a bunch of crazy stuff I wanted to do with her. Just so she'd leave me alone. He lulled uh, pawns. She agreed to all of it. I chickened out and never went on the date. My ex was certified in phlebotomy and we were just chilling one day and she was gently just running her finger up and down my arm before grabbing it and saying you've got good veins. Probably the most romantic thing she ever said to me. Boyfriend was a lying, cheating, literal narcissist. I find out he's cheating and with who. I see the girl's picture on my mom's Facebook when she's wishing her mom a happy birthday. Pawns. Turns out she's my second cousin. I asked a girl that I thought was a trans girl and she gave me her number and we met up come to find out she was a lesbian and only gave me her number because she was a plug and thought I was trying to be a customer. Daddy date with very cute guy from one of my classes. He's smart and funny and we're having a great time. He asks me lots of questions and it seems like he's really into me. Then he tries to sell me Amway Mam. This girl I went on a date W knew this guru, who I followed, who preaches love and peace. 
and in the same breath she said, we should drink the blood of the rich and decapitate billionaires. Truly a cosmic joke. Either the time he put on a purple corset and started acting like a cat or the time he stuck his dildo in me. Or the time a different guy tried to convert me to Mormonism. I school was a wild time. Once went on a date with a guy who seemed charming until he dropped the bombshell he had a thing for feet and wanted to smell mine. The universe sure has a peculiar sense of humour. When my date asks if he minds if he can use a coupon, then proceeds to tell me if they don't take it, we can't eat there. Then asked if he could borrow a dollar. Met a girl on Tinder while working in another state. When I saw her last name, I commented that it was my mother's maiden name. Turned out we were third cousins. Just when during a date a guy spat in my coffee filter and said that now it's almost a cappuccino. Lol it seems to me that I froze for a while. Recently went on dates with two different men, who, upon seeing me naked, both announced they were leaving the country. Dated two people in a row who each moved to California without telling me. I now live in California as well. Went on a date to a safe sex social at university. Eliolo had a pawns. We did not have sex that night and then broke up. We made out so passionately that the frame of my glasses broke and the lens fell out. The most disastrous relationship I've ever been in began on 9-11. Checks post to make sure I'm not in one of these stories.